Hi guys, uh, my name is Shona and uh, in this video I will just tell you about what exactly my build cost is. Uh, so my build cost is a digital quantity takeoff and cost estimation software. So when we are working on quantity surveying and cost estimation, we generally use uh, tools like AutoCAD and Excel or maybe some of us even use quantity takeoff tools but along with spreadsheets. So my build cost is a tool which has been specifically made for QS and estimation. Uh, so I'll explain it with an example. So suppose you want to uh, find out the costing of flooring. Uh, what we generally do is we'll draw a polyline on AutoCAD. We'll get the area and then we'll manually enter it in Excel and then link it with the other sheets like the rate analysis, BOQ, BOM, summary sheets. And once this process is done, maybe our manager or again ourselves will all check it again from zero. Now all this process can be avoided when you use a tool like this. In my build cost, you can either upload an AutoCAD drawing or a PDF uh, drawing and then you'll have to do the tracing. Once the tracing is done, say for something like flooring, you get the takeoff automatically you get the costing also automatically and then all other reports like BOQ, BOM, material consumption, uh, revisions etc are all generated automatically in that uh, in the software in the tool. So uh, th this is the uh, overall br brief about the tool. I'll just explain you with an example of how you can just create a project uh, how you can upload drawings, how you can do sample tracings and later on how your site team and purchase team and even management can use the tool and help you uh, as uh, estimators to avoid cost overruns in the overall project. So I will just create a project, I will name it as sample MVC address i'm putting it as pune right now type of project i can select any for now or i can add a new also now there are certain options of work breakdown structure but for now i'm going to select one of my existing projects itself which is mbc and i'll say create project uh, you can create as many projects as you want uh, in the tool now this project has been created here uh, the fifth one if this was Excel, I would have copied my older file. I would have deleted all the quantities and maybe even tracings, uh, maybe even the linking, I would have changed it. But that's not required when you use a tool like this. I've got my work breakdown structure ready made. Now, whatever you're seeing in this is all editable. You can add, edit, delete, do anything with it. Uh, you can make your own project from scratch as well, but right now, I am just created one, I have cloned the project and created this. So now this is a project head building. This is just my way of dividing any project. So this is building has items from excavation to finishes, MEP items and again this is editable. So if I want to change anything, write anything, I can do that. Then there are other costs which I have put which are overhead costs. There is site development, there is site preparation works and so on. So you can create as many project heads and cost heads as you want in the tool. Now there are two columns here. One is the budgeted cost and second is the estimated cost. Budgeted cost is something which is derived from the thumb rules. I'm not going to talk on it right now. And estimated cost is the exact cost which is derived from your drawings and specifications. So let's take one easy example. I'll take an example of uh, flooring, skirting and wall tiling. Now I have entered the detailed estimate page for flooring, skirting and wall tiling and uh, I'll just explain the detailed estimate page first. So you can see on the first column are, is my description of whether it is skirting, wall tiling or flooring. When I drop this down, I have the location and the specifications of the tile and this is again further divided in room wise and flat wise because this is a residential building. If I want, I can further divide it to uh, room-wise or I can just keep it at floor-wise. 
and, and again again the whole platform is again this even this page is editable it has just cloned my earlier project so if i want to change the specs i can do that the second column is the quantity column and the third column is the rate analysis column rate analysis is the highlight of the tool we have an inbuilt rate analysis library made in the tool and you have an option to even edit it so suppose your constants are different or say your rates are different you can change the rates you can change the constants or else you can even put in more materials if you want or you can delete this and you have an option to even make your own library inside the tool say suppose you have a library which is already been made in excel you have an option to upload that library and you can just use our library as a reference and uh, you can make use of your own library so uh, this is about the rate analysis create your own rate analysis or use the inbuilt rate analysis do as you want now let's go to the takeoff tool which is the highlight of the software so this is the takeoff tool i am going to upload a drawing right now i'll just Okay, so I'm going to select an AutoCAD drawing right now. I, I have an option to select a PDF as well, but I'll just select AutoCAD right now. Now, if you see on the left hand side is my summary sheet. My drawing has uploaded here, AutoCAD. All my uh, drawings, whichever I'll upload here will be seen on this right side. So I'll just close this for now. And bottom is my measurement sheet. So first thing I'll have to do is to scale the drawing. So I'll just select uh feet for now because my dra drawing is in meters and i want my measurement to be in feet this is just an example you can do as you want so 3.05 is close to 10 feet so i'll put 10 feet and now in the tool if you see it, it's a single line toolbar uh, and i can just trace it as i want to so this is my tracing for area which I've done in the tool now say suppose this and this are mirror images so I'll just select this I'll copy and paste so I have two uh, measurements now at the bottom I'll change the color to maybe black and I'll use flip flip is something like a uh, mirror and even uh, what I'm doing is I'm just concentrating on my takeoff I don't have to concentrate on the quantities and if i want i can even add in points i can change points if i want to delete a point i can do that and the area will change on its own i don't have to work on it similarly there are other things like if you want to say trace skirting or say do masonry you can have linear tracings and just say enter now i know i've gone a bit wrong here so i i can even change this later on and for me, I don't, I'm not even looking at the quantities because I know it's going to throw the quantities on its own. Uh, there are a lot many other features in the toolbar, but I won't concentrate on this much right now because of time constraint. So this is the basic concept. This is the takeoff tool. You have cloud markings. You can put in comments. You can use it as it, as you want it to be. It is a, this tool is made for QS and estimation. So this is specifically for QS. Now if I go back, you can see I have a quantity here automatically and it has multiplied by the rate analysis and I've got the costing here. If I click on the costing, I'll get all my constants like my for this much area, my cement consumption is maybe 18 bags, sand is 80 bags. So this is the uh, overall consumption which I've got. Now the main advantage, the major advantages I'll tell you about the tool. So we'll take a bit of a complicated example like masonry and uh, I'll go to this floor. So suppose I'm a QS who's working here. So first of all, everything is in one single environment. My drawing, my project drawings, my summary sheet and even the excel sheet which i'm working on is in one single environment so you don't have to go uh, file to file checking for which is your latest revision and all you have everything in one single environment secondly if i'm a qs working for you 
I know I am hundred percent sure that I have considered everything because I can see it when I click here. My drawing gets highlighted, so I can be confident when it comes to my work, and I tell you that, sir, I have considered all the things, and nothing is balanced. And if you are the person who is going to check it, it becomes very easy for you to identify. You can check within seconds that okay, this person has considered everything, or maybe oh no, you have left out this small particular portion. So there is complete transparency when it comes to the tool. Um, this transparency has its own advantages. Like suppose if I am going on an emergency leave tomorrow, uh, the next person who is coming in line knows what I have worked upon. So he knows. Okay, this is done. Now I have to go to the maybe the next floor. So this is one advantage. Now uh, let's assume you have completed the total working. Uh, on the tool there are a lot of reports which are generated there's boq bom i won't be able to show you all the reports there's resources reports through which you can so i'll just take one example so let's say building and i'll select an item for maybe masonry and i'll select just the blocks and block adhesive and i'll say apply filter so here i know on which floor how many number of blocks i'm going to get or when it comes to adhesive i know what is my adhesive consumption on each floor for say 125 mm block or if there is any other block for that block so it becomes easier for the, even the site team to order materials or uh, purchase materials when it comes to purchase manager so this is a material resource report then there is a cost breakup report which will give you an overall percentage of how your cost is going overall for the structure this you can uh, use it for even value engineering so say suppose i have the percentages i know for something like rcc i cannot change the cost but for something like flooring yes there is a chance that i can do i can change the specs and check whether my cost is increasing or reducing or uh, increasing so i'll just go to flooring now i have a six i'm just giving you an example for one of my favorite features inside the tool so this is 60 by 120 mm vitrified tile so i'll just replace this with some other tile so this is my library this is the my build cost rate analysis library all kinds of items are there uh, let's go to flooring and let's select say i'll select a natural store flooring and let's select important marble and i'll say check to replace so i know what is my variation if i am going to go for this tile so here i know that it is going to cause a 7 million variation if i go for uh, this particular uh, marble so maybe i can say keep this so what i generally suggest all our users is what they can do with this feature is they once their quantity take off is completed they can just clone the project and they can change a few specifications and then they have two project costs with two set of specifications and this is hardly probably a half an hour job if all your rates and uh, all the rate analysis is ready with you or even if you put in direct rates that's fine no need to put the rate analysis so i'll say keep this now again i'll not uh, go into detail for all the reports because there's lot of reports there's estimation breakup which will give you a break up of machinery labor m plus l material this estimation summary which will give you payments if you want to know what your milestone stages are how you need to make the provision for your payments that it will give you that estimation summary can also create a boq for you there's estimation revisions where you can track all the revisions within the tool so with respect to date time and who has made the change you have all the data inside the tool so maybe after a period of 1 year uh, or maybe after a period of 2 years you want to know why your cost from say uh, 100 has increased to 105 you have all the data inside uh, this tool and then maybe for the next projects you can use that data to reduce the cost so there's cost variation where you can find out the variation also so i'm not going to discuss on all, about all the reports now there are work collaboration features also in the tool so you say suppose if you want to uh, share your project with a client uh, 
uh, and you want to give him with view only mode or read only mode you can do that so when he logs in from his account he'll not be able to edit anything or say suppose you want to show it to a certain person but you want to hide the rates you can do that so all kinds of things can be done with respect to the tool uh, so this is the overall tool uh, if you ask me your knowledge skills and methodology is all the same what you're doing right now if you're working on spreadsheets it's it's the same only changes you're moving from excel or from spreadsheets to this tool that's the only change and your efforts are considerably reduced and all the disadvantages of spreadsheets is gone here for example there's multiple linking there's uh, multiple formulas which you copy paste so in case there is one wrong formula which is put or one wrong link it is your project cost which will go on a toss so as construction professionals i believe that that shouldn't be our headache programming an excel sheet is not what is our job my job should be that i have to make sure that my take off is accurate and i'm doing it in speed uh, so this is all about the tool i hope i was able to explain it to you there are many other features as well in the tool but uh, i can i believe once you start using the tool you'll understand all the features uh, if in case you have any doubts or require a personalized demo we are happy to arrange it for you you can just go to our website and uh, fill in the form and uh, we'll arrange a demo for you you we even have a free trial period so you can register for the free trial period and if you uh, need any help or support do come to us you can mail us on support at the rate mybuildcost.io and we, all the details uh, are on the website so just try you using the tool uh, and let us know how you find it if there are any suggestions with respect to the tool all are welcome uh, thank you